I've been asked to speak about the Health Freedom Ombudsman. And some people don't understand what an ombudsman is, but an ombudsman is an office. And the person who is the ombudsman is charged with basically ensuring that things like rights and freedoms are adhered to, sometimes in provincial contexts, that there's administrative fairness. And that person acts as a safety valve between the bureaucracy and the citizen. So if the citizen has a complaint, they go to the ombudsman, and the ombudsman can investigate the complaint, basically has court-like powers to hold inquiries, order the production of documents, take testament, testimony under oath, and has those powers so that the ombudsman can get to the bottom of a complaint and then make recommendations. Now the Health Freedom Ombudsman is charged with the responsibility of investigating complaints that would suggest that the Charter of Health Freedoms, those rights and freedoms, those principles that are already law in Canada are being adhered to by the federal civil service. Now the advantage of the Ombudsman is that for the very first time in Canadian history allows citizens a place to go to basically ensure that their health rights and freedoms are being followed by any federal civil service. Now there's also an advantage for Parliament because Parliament, if the MPs, the government or any committee of Parliament is concerned that our health freedoms are not being respected, they can ask the Ombudsman to look into it and report back to them. So it also the Ombudsman, because the Ombudsman, the office has so much power to get to the bottom of something, is a very valuable tool that Parliament can use to also ensure that in all areas of the Federal Civil Service, those rights and freedoms that the courts have told us we have are being adhered to. So that's why we're actually quite excited about the Ombudsman. Several people and companies have suggested to us for years that there needed to be a safety valve, a place where issues can be addressed when there's a problem in the area of health. And up till now, there's just simply been no mechanism to address concerns in the area of health.